Hey everyone, so I have a really quick tutorial. It's gonna be really, really simple, really quick. So uh, some of you guys asked me about the shield that I have here. So I have here a big shield on my UV laser and I have another sheet of acrylic down, down there. But I have a piece of acrylic that I use in a couple other things. So I'm gonna show you how you bend this acrylic. Super easy, super fun. It's really, really, really easy to do. Anyone can do it in their home. You don't need any special tool. Uh, well, I guess, yes, you need a heat gun. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how I do this. And I'm gonna put some links below for some source that you can get laser shield. That means that it's going to be not just a piece of acrylic. It's going to be a shield for your laser that it will protect your eyes. So I wanna do this on the camera on this piece and I'm gonna show you how it goes uh, really quick. Uh, depending on the thickness that you get, is going to be the level of protection, it's going to be how much you need to heat it up and stuff like that, but it's quite simple, so let's get to it. Okay, the first thing that you need is to know where you are going to bend the acrylic. So I like to use the edge of my workbench because number one, I work here. If it gets scratched, I mark this or something, it's fine. I'm gonna use one of these uh, angle or uh, 90 degrees rulers, you wanna call it or stuff like that. It's really easy. I'm gonna use this with the edge on the acrylic so I can make sure that when I slide this, you know, everything is kind of a straight because that's that's kind of an important part of this process. And then I'm gonna use tape and a ruler. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I should know what is the area that I'm gonna cover. So if this is in front of your machine, you probably know that from here to here, let's say, let's say that this is going to be probably eight inches area so you go eight inches here so you know the size of this and you mark where you want it so in my case i know the area that i want to cover so i'm going to put it here and that's where i use the tape so once i have this nice i just hold this down for a second so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tape this in the area that i want to bend it here I'm gonna leave this side and I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and flush with everything. There and here. Now, I recommend you to get some heat gloves or something like that so you can protect your hands as well. The ruler is for you to measure in the beginning how you're going to do this because we, we need to make sure what is the distance. So. I'm gonna bend in here, so this is going to be an inches, six inches here, and I have eight inches left. So one side is gonna be a little bit larger than the other one, but we'll see how, how it goes uh, with this. So you will see what I'm doing here. And the purpose of having an acrylic like this is because some of the lasers that they have their own enclosure or shield or stuff like that and sometimes you need the laser open but you want to block uh, as much as possible the the rays so this is where this comes handy so let me move some stuff out because i don't want the heat damaging anything in case there's anything to be damaged there if you know a way to keep everything always clean let me know because i struggle with space room and everything so i'm gonna put my heat gun to the maximum setting right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start just heating this part so you're gonna start heating this and you will see the acrylic that start automatically bending down it doesn't take long And you will notice that this gets a little flimsy. So you want you want to heat this up to the point that it start bending by itself. Don't stay in one place too long because you will kind of burn the plastic.
and I have a really basic I think this is just 600 watts or something like that probably less let me tell you right now this is um I don't see it and it's because I don't have my glasses yes now I need glasses for everything I don't have my glasses but yeah this is not like the strongest uh, if you have the attachment, I lost it. That is flat is better because you can just stay there basically. Let's turn this off for a second. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold here and give it a curve. And always when you do this, try to bend a little extra of what you need to bend because kind of a spring back so you want to make sure that this is bent the same amount that you want it like 90 degrees and stuff like that and you gotta stay there now you want to stay there for a couple minutes probably one or two minutes while this cools down let's press it and make sure that it bends completely We want to wait a couple a minute or so here and yeah you can create a, a, a jig or something to bend it easy you know with a couple hinges but i don't manufacture this it's something that i do based on a need so here it is i'm gonna put it back a little bit more here's the first bend that i need now i want to take this one out Usually the first tape that you put here is going to lose how tacky it is because the heat. So just be aware of that. Here we go. Look at that. See, you have a nice bend there so now you do the same thing depending on how you're going to measure it and what you're going to have so i have six inches there so i'm going to measure now six inches for here so it's going to be here you have your ruler again to make sure that it's a straight i'll take this one out there it is so this is where you We'll do this area here. So I'm gonna do that. And what I wanna do, again, I wanna grab this tape and it's gonna go here. Just to hold it in place. So when you leave this, this thing doesn't flip. That's, that's the whole purpose, basically. And this is how I make my shield for my laser pecker. Uh, uh, that's how I make the, the shield that you guys see in the video that I use on the F1 Ultra when the shield is a little higher or is open because the material that I'm using is taller. So since this is going to have a lot of uh, weight in this side, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little extra here. So I'm gonna tape it like here, like so. I'm gonna put it down. I just wanna make sure that this doesn't spring back to my face when I'm trying to bend it. I'm gonna do the same here. And under. There we go. So this is secure for now. So now we're gonna give you a, another go here. You're gone again. And I'm gonna start heating this up. And you see how these already start going down. Let 
the strike here. I'm gonna put this to do the bend. There it is. So I'm gonna hold it until kind of a cool down a bit. So when it cools down is where it's going to stay in the same shape that I want it. If I don't hold it, this is bring back probably too much. All right. Here we go. I wanna take this out really quick so I can lift this back. There we go. And you have a shield. So now we have a little shield that we can use in front of our laser uh, and that way we protect you know whatever we have to if something like this when you see it from the top this side for example is a little bit too narrow you can just hit this part here just a little bit just give it a little bit only and this will spring back there we go so this auto mic will spring back. So there you go. You have that. It's a little more. It's a tad more here. And there it is. We have a little shield now that we can use in our laser for whatever, whatever extra things that we need. Uh, you get a thicker acrylic, this will be more resistant to temperature, so stronger your uh, heat gun needs to be. Well, there you have it. So, super easy to make a laser shield. So you have a fiber laser, you have a cone marker, you have a even an X2 F1 or F1 Ultra that you need to leave the shield a little bit open. Uh, you can make an extra shield that you just put in there to protect your eyes and the family around. Uh, it's a really easy project. Uh, just keep in mind that these aren't really cheap. Uh, prices go all over the place. Uh, we'll put some links below for you and just get a heat gun and you can get it done in a couple minutes of work and really, really inexpensive. So please leave me your comments below. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, Fire the laser.